Today I'm going to show you how to fix a forgotten password on Windows 10. A lot of security patches have been applied, so some of the old tricks don't really work. So this time I'm going to show you a method that definitely still works and lets you basically reset your own password to a new one in case you have forgotten it. So let's go. Gmodism, total nerd channel. Yeah, all right. You just go into this little homepage here, Lace Soft. And uh, I have the link in the description and this software lets you reset the password and I promise you it's much faster than trying to trick Windows into doing stuff. This is just better. So download the software from the description, it's free and just install it here so we can prepare a USB stick. You need a USB stick for this so um, just install this and uh, when you have installed it you can just you know launch the application and now it's time to plug into the computer a empty USB stick so here we go we can now uh, select what type of Windows we want to reset we're gonna select Windows 10 64 bit and here we go USB flash drive select a drive you want to use uh, get explorer and check that the drive you want to use is really empty so you don't lose any files there and then you just select it and click start now we will make a bootable USB drive from this and load the password recovery software onto this. So that's really nice and uh, this is free and it's faster than just trying to get up command prompt. In the recent Windows uh, update they kind of blocked the method of uh, you know using the command prompt to reset the password so that's why we don't use that anymore. And now we can go to the target computer where we want to reset our password, insert the USB stick and click the start button. Now we need to get into BIOS and for this computer it's F2. So we are spamming the F2 button to make sure that we start BIOS. The F2 button may not be the BIOS menu for you, so check up for your manufacturer what it is. And when we're in here, we need to search up the boot menu. And in the boot menu, we, we go to boot priority order and we find our USB drive and uh, take it to the top with F5, F6 and just drag it up there. And then we click F10 to save and exit. Very nice. So basically, this means that the USB drive would start before Windows Boot Manager. So we actually load the software from this drive pretty handy and then when you've done that you just need to restart or the computer will restart automatically and you should now get this little um, selection option that uh, asks you if you want to boot from the drive or it will just directly boot and we're going to select it yes and just click enter so that it will boot up lace soft and here inside lace soft the my password uh, recover my password is launched so uh, now you need to confirm that you are using this as a home edition and not as some type of commercial use. And then you can change some values here if uh, something would be wrong and you can just click next. And here you have all these different accounts on your computer. These are all the accounts, activated or not, disabled or not. Uh, these are all the accounts. And uh, as you can see here, this is a predefined administrator account and it's actually disabled. So we can't even see this when logging in. And then we also have my account, Castle. This is my account. So the Castle account is my account and you can see in the lower right corner that this account is not a live ID account. If this would have been a live ID account, we would need to go into the administrator account because there is always a local administrator account and this is it. And if our account that we want to unlock is a live ID account, we need to reset the password online using our email. And if we can't do that, we need to go into the local administrator account, this one, click this big blue button and click reset and it will unlock the account. And if we do that, we can go like the back route and then we can, uh, using File Explorer, we can go and basically uh, find our files uh, from the back way. Uh, but in my case, my account is a local ac account, as you can see, it's not live ID, so we can reset it. And when we're in here, we just click this blue big button, reset, unlock. If you want to change the password, you have to use their paid software. So we basically just remove the password by clicking this button. And the password is now reset and we can click OK. 
And then we can click this little button and shut down the computer. And then we go to the boot order again and we're going to rearrange the boot order so that the uh, flash drive isn't on top. And when you just you, you just click save and exit and let the computer start up again and you should get into Windows again. Very nice. And here we are and you can see it automatically logs in because the password is removed. So I get directly into my home screen just like this. And since uh, we forgot the old password, we need to select a new password. So we launch settings, click accounts, sign in options and then password. You can see down there, it's a big key, there password. And then you just click add password. So you basically need to add a new password because we removed the old one, right? With uh, just resetting it, we just removed it. So write in your new password here and uh, make sure to select something that uh, you don't forget, basically. And don't write your password in the password hint. That's not very smart. And then you just click next. And uh, well, this basically adds your new password. So you now you can use this password. And if you for some reason have an online account, so you can't reset the password, what you basically can do is to unlock the administrator account that I showed you before. And then you can log into that one and access your files. And there we have it. We're into our own account again, and we can now use it normally again. And this knowledge, you know, use it responsibly. It's only okay to reset your own account's password in case you didn't know. So that's basically that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and do subscribe to this channel because this is Jimmy's and Total Nerdy channel and we're making a lot of tech tutorials and gaming stuff like that. So you should subscribe. Anyways, see you next time. This is Jimmy's signing out.